Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Really interesting equation, exponential equation. We have square root of x to the power square root of x equal to equal to 4. And we need to find our x right here. Okay, how can I solve it? The first way to solve it is to use logarithm, but I would I do want to do this because I want to show you a really good, like not like a general method, but a really good trick with it with this. Okay, first of all, we need to mention that x is positive 1 because right here we have square root of in our base and there's power so x is positive 1. But let's use substitution right here. So let this square root of x equal to for example y. We can do this, square root of x is greater than 0, so what equation we will have as a result? We will have the next equation, y to the power y equal to 4. y to the power y equal to 4. Okay, how can we solve this? Of course we can easily see that this 4 can be written as so y to the power y equal to, this 4 can be written as 2 square. And we can easily see that only one case that this equation works is when y equal to 2. So from here y equal to 2. And if y equal to 2, then square root of x equal to 2. From here x equal to 4. Okay, we have that our x equal to equal to 4. But I want to go further. I don't want to use logarithm. Let's let's discover this function. This function will be monotonic increasing or de decreasing. Let's find this minimum and I swear it will be really interesting. Okay, first of all, let's use a substitution. So this function on the left hand side, let's for example, pi for example. We have pi equal to y to the power y. And let's take log from both of the side. We will have that natural log pi equal to y natural log y. And right now let's find our derivative. So dp over dy. What about derivative? If you look closely to this right hand side we have the next, we have a product. So firstly y times 1 over up y and plus natural log, natural log y. Right here we can cancel it, so as a result we have 1 plus natural log y. Okay, the next step, let's Let's write an equation, this derivative equal to zero. Let's find our, our points, our critical points, minimum or maximum right here. So we have one plus natural log y equal to equal to zero. Let's find this point. We will have right here that natural log y equal to minus one. So from here y equal to e to the power minus one, which is equal to one over one over e right here. So we find our our point. But this point is using y. We are need, we need to write an equation square root of x equal to one over e. So our x, our x from here equal to one over e square. We just raise it to the we just squared both sides. Okay, we find our one point x equal to one over e square. This is our one point. This is critical point. We don't know how that function looks like in this point, but we find it. And I want, to sh I want to find a second derivative right here. Let's do this. Let's find the second derivative. Let's find the second, second derivative. Let's find it. So we have dp over dy equal to, so from here second derivative will be only our natural log y which is equal to 1 over y. And I want to mention one really interesting moment because y is always positive because we have square root of x to the power square root of x and we write right here that x is greater than zero. So y is always positive. It tells us that right here we have a monotonic function. Monotonic function. But what is the value of this in this point, one over y? We have that y equal to square root of x to the power square root of x equal to, we have that one over e square. Let's find this point, one over e square to the power 1 over e square. We can cancel this square and we'll have 1 over e to the power 1 over e. As you can see right here, y is always positive and we have a positive value of, of our derivative right here in this point. So it tells us that our function will be monotonic, monotonic function and of course monotonic increasing function. Because I want to draw a graph real quick and we will see every of this step why I find it. We have a graph. Firstly, it's really easy to write this 4 because this is a constant. This is a constant. And the next thing, we need to write this point x equal to 1 over e square. 
it looks like that right here. So we have this point. I write it right here that this is x equal to 1 over e square. And it's not hard to see that 0 and 1, if you plug in 0, we have 0 to the power 0 will be 1. So right here we'll have 1. And every of these of these points will be goes to plus infinity, so only in this part. But how this function looks like? Right here we need to connect these two points and this derivative tell us that our function will be monotonic increasing. So our function looks like that. Our function looks like that. And this point will be our minimum point. Point of minimum. As you can see right here, it's not a maximum, it's minimum point. And this, this function goes us to plus infinity. Because if you use a limit right here, we can easily, if x goes to plus infinity, then right here, this function goes to plus infinity as well. And if you're talking about intersection, right here we'll have only one point of intersection. So right here we'll have four. This is a constant. And this is a monotonic. So right here, monotonic. Monotonic increasing function. Monotonic increasing function. This point, we find it right here. So this point have one over e square. And the second point will be one over e the power 1 over e, which is fine, which we found right here. So this is my approach to this interesting problem. Of course, we can easily use logarithm, we can find another method, how can we, how can we solve it, but this is my, my approach, this is my thought about this, about this method. Of course, this is not like a general method, you can find another way, how can you solve it. This is method using a graphic graphic parts. If you use logarithm, you will find another method. How, how, how can you solve it? So I want to show you my, my approach to this interesting, interesting problem. What do you think about it? Write your suggestion in comment. It will be really interesting to read it. And of course, thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make a new content. It, it's really important for me because I try to post every video every video every day and i try to find a really interesting problem in university books in olympiad math problem i try to find it and to share with you with with internet and i hope you enjoy it because it's really important for me and i hope you you enjoy it thank you so much for watching subscribing put your thumbs up write any comment and thank you for watching subscribing see you in the next videos and write your suggestion about this problem. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.